Welcome to another edition of AUVSI's Weekend Roundup. As always, links are below, and we're going to call your attention to some stories that you might have missed. So, Brian, what have you got for us? So, starting off this week, uh, Kroger and Neuro have announced that they will launch their autonomous grocery delivery service in Houston. The service has been operating for a few months in Scottsdale, Arizona, and the service in Houston is expected to begin in this spring, so shortly. Um, in Oregon, the Umatilla County Emergency Management has acquired a new UAS, which will primarily be used for search and rescue missions. The UAS is equipped with infrared imaging and also has the ability to carry a few pounds of food and medical supplies to a stranded person that is waiting to be rescued. And finally, researchers at the University of Washington are working on a robot that can feed people who need help eating. Um, the robot would free caregivers to do other tasks while the person is eating. So the idea is for the robot to be attached to a person's wheelchair and feed them that way. And okay. Brett, I understand that you have some news on robotics as well. Yes, and well, one transition there is uh, something that does not need any help eating is the lionfish, which is an invasive species. It's a very pretty fish, but it eats a lot of other fish. And it has been estimated that when the lionfish comes into town, uh, the other reef fish declined by 79%. So a company called Robots in Service to the Environment have created essentially an underwater robot that's an anti-lionfish uh, device. It would go down to where they breed and, and take them out. Um, in other news, uh, AP, the Associated Press, has done live streaming from an underwater submersible. It was a man submersible, but still this idea of being able to live stream without tethers from underwater uh, is a big deal for both the manned and unmanned community. A uh, company uh, has created, it's called the Mammoth Robot for Agriculture. It's a ground vehicle that would go around to fields and monitor like crop health and see how what areas of the crop might need fertilizer and that sort of thing. So it's a, another advance on the agriculture front. And last but not least, AirMap and Honeywell announced that they are teaming uh, on a UAS tracking platform. And of course, tracking of uh, UAS has become a big deal in the news lately. So that's what we have for you this week, and we will see you next week.